So hello friends, today I'll show you how to install custom ROM on Poco M2 Pro. Uh, the custom ROM I've used here is uh, Pixel Experience. You need to do a backup of your device before doing this because all the data will be get deleted. First open settings then go to MI account. Then open Xiaomi Cloud. Now you have to turn on the find my device option, turn automatic backups to on, turn on quick sync, now go to settings about phone, now tap on MIUI version for 7 times until you see the developer options turning on. You can see that now you are a developer. Now go back to settings and search for developer, go to developer options and turn it on. Scroll down to OEM unlocking and turn it on. Now go to MI unlock status and click on agree. Now switch to mobile data, turn the Wi Fi off. Now click on add account and devices. You may see a prompt showing couldn't verify. Try adding account and devices. Now go to settings, MI account, turn the Wi Fi on, go to Xiaomi Cloud and sign out of your MI account and then again you need to sign in for option again turn the Wi-Fi off and click on the mobile data you need to use mobile data while doing this process now again go to MI unlock status then click on agree click on add account and devices you will see it's showing added successfully MI account is associated with this device now now you need to go to a desktop or PC and open Chrome. Search for Telegram Web and open it up and log into your Telegram account. Search for TCHBW which is Tech B. You will see this account with this logo. After opening this channel, you will file all the deleted files with this ROM fetching the files which I have shown in this video. You need to download all the files from this account. Now search for MI Flash Unlock which you have downloaded from Telegram. You need to unzip it and you have to open the folder after that. Flash unlock, you can see the logo here. Now on your PC, for search for this ADB. Run the file and you will see a prompt showing do you want to install ADB. Press Y on your keyboard and then click enter. You will see it's again showing install ADB system wide. Type Y and hit enter. You can see installing ADB system wide, four files are copied. Do you want to install device drivers? Again type Y and hit on enter. You can see a new device driver installation wizard is popping up. Click on the next button. Then click on finish. And the ADB setup is now installed on your PC or laptop. Now open MI flash unlocker and click on the icon as shown. You can see the pop-up asking you to agree or disagree. Click on agree. You have to now remove the SIM from your Poco to another phone. Remember to remove the SIM which is associated with an MI account. Now you have to press and hold the power and volume down button together of your M2 Pro, Poco M2 Pro. Until you see the first boot screen appearing. You need to connect your phone with your laptop or PC and you have to use the charging cable given in the box of your phone and you have to connect it to a usb 2.0 or above port now sign in with your mi user id and password you probably will need an otp which you will find on the other phone where you have inserted the sim which is associated with your mi account click on submit and you will see it's checking that if the mi account has permissions or not you can see a pop-up showing that the phone is connected now the user data will be erased i hope you have backed up your data now click on unlock after waiting for 5 seconds, click on unlock anyway. Click unlock anyway. You can see that your device is now getting unlocked. It may get unlocked in one go or you may need to wait for 166 or 168 hours. It generally happens if it's being unlocked for the first time. 
you now need to note the time and date when you are doing this and wait for the given hour set which is 166, 168 whatever it is displayed on your screen 166 or 168 hours generally refers to 7 days so I will come back after 7 days now remember not to remove your Remi account from your phone not to turn off OEM unlocking or not to turn off developer option don't do anything just use the phone as normal now I am back after 7 days open the telegram downloads which you have downloaded from that given account open me flash unlock you may see a prompt showing to download the latest MI unlock tool so you have to download it click on the MI flash unlock icon as shown hit agree now sign into your MI account Don't click on submit just as before after it has checked if the MI account has permissions or not then click on unlock Then wait for 5 seconds, hit on unlock anyway, then again wait for 5 seconds, then again hit unlock anyway. You can see that the MI account is now getting unlocked. It will first verify the device, then you can see the MI account being unlocked. So you can see that now it's done. It's showing unlocked successfully. You can hit reboot or you can automatically see that the phone is getting rebooted. is logged after the reboot and you have to click on open Wi-Fi settings then select the Wi-Fi then come back to the main screen now activate the device using your MI account password you can now see that the MI UI is getting booted up now you need to set up the phone as you normally do while buying a new phone you now need to go to the first boot mode by pressing the power button and the lower volume key together on your PC, search for the platform tools which you have downloaded from Telegram. Extract the file. Open the extracted file which is the platform tools folder. You have to now go to the Telegram downloads and search for TWRP 3.4.0 whatever. And now copy it into the platform tools extracted folder. Now open the platform tools folder. Now go to the address bar and select it and type CMD and hit enter. You can see CMD popping up. Now type fastboot space then hit enter you will see a device code it is generally the code of the device you have connected if the device is not connected the code won't be shown and you need to reconnect it. Now type fastboot space flash space recovery space and now copy the TWRP now copy the TWRP and drag it to the CMD file and paste it click on enter. You can see sending recovery, it may take some time depending upon the processor you are using of your PC. After a certain amount of time, you can see that sending recovery is ok. It will show the time taken by your system. It will show writing recovery is also ok. It will show total time taken. Now press the power button and volume up button together. You can see the unlocked icon showing up. You can see it's booting into recovery project. You don't need to enter any password. Click on the home button or the back button. Go to wipe, advanced wipe and click on Dalvik, data, cache, internal storage. You need to use an external storage to write this ROM. So preferably download the pixel experience from the telegram account and, and first copy it in a pen drive or uh, memory card. Here I am using an USB OTG. Click on OK. Now browse and search for the Pixel Experience Plus which you have downloaded from Telegram. You may see some error. Just click on wipe cache and delvic. Click uh, or drag swipe to wipe. Then again try to install the pixel experience again. Uh, swipe to wipe or uh, delete the cache delvic until the error is gone. 
now after these errors you can see that the system is getting patched unconditionally now you need to wipe after it has patched the system then you need to reboot after rebooting you can see that the poco logo is appearing then you can see that the google logo is appearing so now this is the pixel experience rom on poco m2 pro now you normally have to set up a phone as you generally do after buying a new phone uh, here are some features like uh, the screen recording part the ambient display the always on display you can see these new features in poco m2 pro because of this rom so enjoy the pixel experience rom and i hope to see you in my next video thank you